Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's 980 Master Nightmare Hunt. Nightfall Hunt, sorry, not Nightmare. Uh, we're doing at the Warlock Top Tree uh, Void Walker. You can see from the weapons I'm using, that's the Pyroclastic Flow, the rocket launcher I'm using. So, I tried this on stream. I started working at the strategy on stream and just couldn't focus properly. So the next day came on, got it after a, a few runs. The barrier champions in, in, in this night, nightfall are probably the most annoying of any nightfall. So as you can see, when you start, I'm going to charge a grenade, throw it, and try and kill all the kind of minor ads, the incendiars, and the scions. This is, you've got two champions here, so what I've tried to do is stop the unstoppable right at that explosive barrel. Hit him with a rocket once you've stunned him. Now I'm using the Patreon of Lost Causes. I've got an, an unstoppable mod on it. So I've stopped him at the barrier. Uh, at the exploding barrel so that he takes double damage. And then I've hit this this barrier champion with a rocket. And as you can see, once from where from where we are, I've put a rift down to, you know. Because I've got a void battery on, whenever I use one of my abilities, I get an overshield. So... As that was coming in, I put my rift down. That's why they see me get the overshield. And that's basically how to clear that area. Now, we'll speak a little bit about the strategies needed once we get past this little bit. Now, when you come out here, one of the, one of the modifiers is you take more da uh, solar damage. You take more damage when you're airborne. So, yeah, just try and stay on, you know, if there's, if there's snipers about, try not to be jumping about. So, put a rocket on that ship. I've put a grenade down on top of as many of those ads as possible. I've put a rocket on the ship and then hit it twice with my Ariana's Vow. Now, you want to take, you want to be careful of these guys. Whenever you see one of these guys floating about, that should be your focus. Now, grenades, grenades are a big thing here because the ads fire more grenades than normal. So, you are going to be getting these kind of uh, re the, the rest fire grenades that the that the the cabal fire you're going to be getting them in quite quite often you just want to make sure all the snipe all the snipers that are in any real view you know that have a decent bead on you make sure they're dead don't let them roam free because their sniping shots are really going to hurt so there's a, there's obviously there's two over on the left hand platform we've already taken one of those down there's one over just behind the second set of box the second box down on the right as you, you might have just caught a glimpse from there when the ship lifts, lifts, uh, lifts up. You'll see he's around that box there. So we'll just there he is. He's just popped out, but now we're we're engaging in the unstoppable. So we're just getting there a little bit of cover. So that's kind of the 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 ploy with the 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 barriers, which we haven't really seen yet too much as. In most of the places, you've got a barrier at the start, but we take him pretty easily. The barrier champions are going to be what slow your, your progress down quite considerably. Because after the first area, they're not always in groups of two. The next set aren't in groups of two, but they're pretty close together. But the next couple, of, the next two sets of barrier champions are really close together. Taking one of them without affecting the other one can be difficult. So, traversing the, the area where the barrier champions is going to be probably your major concern in this in this uh, mission, in this strike. So, this is the first of the barrier champions here. There's two barrier champions here. And that is not the way you throw a grenade. I actually tried to change weapon because I didn't want to throw the grenade just yet, but... Well, it didn't really, it didn't really affect us too much. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put down, we're going to put down a rift. We want him, we want these barrier champions. This is the way that you kind of attack them. So as you can see, he's, we want to break his shield. But the, that kind of fire that they do. Now I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to shield up again. I've got two shots. And if you crit. If you crack them with any of those shots, it's two shots to break their shield. So I just, I never bother using all my ammo. So the kind of the, the way we're going to do this is, what you ideally want to do 
is you want to kind of goad the barrier champion into firing those uh, suppressor rockets. I'm just going to put a speculative grenade up there. It doesn't really matter. I want It gives me an idea of where all these dogs are. So the, the idea is you want to fire his rockets that suppress you. And then after that, put a rocket on him, which will take a lot of his health off him. He'll go straight to putting his barrier up. And then you can finish him with Ariana's. If you don't think you can finish him, leave yourself with two rounds, which is enough to break his shield. One crit and, and two crits, perfect. But you need one crit especially. So this is the second barrier champion. The second barrier champion is standing where you would normally put put down this, uh, this orb. So we can't go there because he will just absolutely terrorize us if we go there. And there are... This is the most dogs I've seen in an area. There are so many dogs here. I'll keep picking the orb up because we don't want it to disappear because it's already went once. Just and I'm going to put my rift down. As you can see, I've got an overshield. I'm going to get an overshield when I'm in the rift, which is good. So just make sure there's no dogs. So we're just going to put... You now he's going to put his shield up. And that's kind of the way we want to deal with the barriers. Very simply, let them fire the rockets. Then you want to fire a rocket. I'll put a grenade down there because that's where the majority of the dogs are. Melee damage is increased in this as well. So we've got the grenade back. We're going to charge it, put it in front of this doorway. And then make sure we, we've got our, our rocket launcher reloaded. That'll take everything that comes at the door. There will be one, one uh, phalanx. And then we'll put a rocket on these elites. As you can see, we took a couple of those. There's still do there's so many dogs here. And there's an unstoppable. Now, we'll take, take this last uh, elite. Now, what's really kind of strange is that the barrier champions, the Cabal barrier champions are probably the worst in the game. Because they have so many different attacks. They've got either that heavy duty Gatlin machine gun. Which is a melt machine. You won't survive that for very long. They've also got the suppressor rockets. And, and those things kind of keep you at arm's length. So we have to find different ways to approach them. So in that area, we waited for the first barrier champion to jump down. As we took, if, if, if I had have managed to cancel my, my charged grenade, I would have threw a grenade kind of close to me so that any ammunition that dropped from the dogs was very easy for me to get and then you know wait for him to fire his rockets hit him with it, you know then retort back with one of my own once has I, I you know dealt with his rockets put a rocket on him and then use my arianas to deal with deal with the shield and him and then we went up behind the blast barriers at the top of the ramp because once the ship's down, it's just him and the dogs until you slam. And then take out the rest of the ads at your leisure. And then we're going to move all the way into what I think people commonly refer to now as the tank room. Now in the tank room, very interesting, you're going to have a bunch of ads. And this is the total ads you'll deal with in this room. You'll have a bunch of ads. You'll have two barrier champions and an unstoppable. Then once you take out the, so you take out the first, we're going to take out the first tank. Uh, take out the first tank, take out the two bar, the, the unstoppable, take out the barriers. Then when we call down the second tank, we're going to get three unstoppables. That's six champions in this but in this room, crazy. But doing it the way we're going to be doing it, it's not too difficult. So. Basically, we're going to keep charging our grades because you'll see we get our grenades back relatively quickly. It's not like instantaneously, but we are going to stay where we are now because this tank, there's too many ads out there. There's a champion, there's ads, and the tank will fire at your last position. As you can see, he knows I'm here, so hopefully his shots, 90% of his shots are not going to come anywhere near me. So... And we're going to work on these ads. Now we can, the ads will come over to us. So as you can see, just about got a grenade. I'm going to cancel it because a, a load of them walked away. If, if I can get them to group, 
I will put a grenade on them. If not, I'm just going to use my grenade for the tank. But this is a really good place, especially with, with, with a scout rifle. And the Arianas does a fair bit of damage. But something something a lot of people don't... Act, there's, there's the unstoppable. Something a lot of people don't know about uh, explosive rounds. Explosive rounds on a red bar shielded enemy. But even in Nightfalls where you've got to match the element. And obviously kinetic damage doesn't match any element. We're going to... This this uh, this tank is hid behind there, and as you can see never managed to happen with a grenade because he's he's tucked himself in tight behind that platform pillar. There he is. So we just put a rocket on him, and that rocket was enough. You want to hit? I know that if you, if you're using some sort of a rocket with cluster, I'll get back to what the explosive rounds do in two seconds, but. If you're hitting the tank with an ex a cluster rocket, which I am, and the py pyroclastic, as I have been informed, as I didn't know because I didn't give it any credit, to be fair, which is, you know, not like me really, but it's intrinsic perk, just like just like the Zenobia is tracking. So if, if you get a pyroclastic with cluster, you have another cluster tracking rocket launcher. Now, the explosive brown thing, as I was saying, a lot of people don't realise that Explosive rounds go through a shield on red bar enemies, as you'll see there. You won't break the shield, but you do damage to the enemy underneath the shield. And in this in this strike, they've really replaced kind of the heavy shielded ads. Bar there, there are only red bar shielded ads left in this strike, but they've replaced them with champions. So you really you've got you've got the Arianas on, and there's a couple of solar enemies at the end. And there's some void which we'll deal with with grenades and stuff. So there's two barrier champions up here, right? So this is where we're going to come because they're quite close together. There's still a few adds there. I'm going to throw a grenade. I'm going to put a grenade on them. So what we're going to do is exactly how we dealt with the other barrier champion. One of them is going to start walking towards us. So we'll put down a rift. He's fired his attack. We're going to put... A rocket on him, break his shield, and then we're going to Nova this one. Because we want him out the way fast before his buddy comes. And there's his buddy, right? Now he's pushed up too close to us now. Right? We'll put a grenade on him. We're just going to try and keep damage going on him. And there's the Unstoppable. I don't know if you can just see the Unstoppable coming in. Coming in here. So... What we're going to do now is we're going to reset them. We're going to go and grab some ammo. And we're going to reset them. And get them to come back over to us. Right? So there, there's, there's the barrier. That's what we wanted. We want to put... It's... This area is like a game of snooker. It's like... The more... You know, you want to keep a little, a little bit of safe distance between you and the enemy. So... Why I say it's like snooker is safety, uh, distance is safety. So we put the rocket. And now, hopefully, we can finish him now. There you go. Now, this is going to sound like a really silly thing to say, but I'm sure you guys will appreciate it. We're going to stop this unstoppable and see if we can take him out here. Because if you put enough shots on him, you can just go up and finish him like that. It's going to sound like a really kind of silly thing to say, but this next area is a surprisingly difficult. Uh, this next uh, thing is surprisingly difficult because of the champions. It's a bit of a silly thing to say because any champions are going to make it difficult. But this shocked me the first time I got here because I'd already taken out three champions. I expected champions when this next tank comes down. I didn't expect three unstoppables. I'm just scouting to see if there's any heavy. So, on reflection, it's better to deal with the tank first. So, what we'll do is we'll drop down out the, type of the tank site. Now, the unstoppables, get rid of that explosive barrel, will go up top of the ramp. Just, I'll show you in two seconds because I'll look over to see where they are. Now, you can see we're going to stick a, a rocket on. If you're hitting them with a rocket, a cluster rocket, you want to hit right in the middle of the tank so that the cluster spreads across all the four points. So we're just going to be throwing grenades from here. 
Now, the master night nightmare, the master nightfall, is is score wise, it's it's really good because you do don't have to really. There's the unstoppables up there, all three of them. Uh, it's really good because the last thing you have to worry about is is the score because you'll get the score as long as you do it, you know, close to the time limit. You can go over it by by five minutes or so. You lose about fifteen points a second. So if you're already got 150,000, you're good for score. So we got the grenade back. Now the the tank will fire. Past a certain charge point, the tank will fire. He won't change position after a certain, a certain, uh, a certain point within his his charge. What you want to do is whatever you're going to be attacking from, right? I didn't do it there because I thought I would kill him with this grenade. You want to move away from wherever you're going to be attacking from, right? Throw your grenade, and that's why you'll have seen that 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 shot coming right past me there. You want to fire from a different location. You want to throw your grenade like this from a different location. Because now he focuses here where I am, where I just was. Throw it from a different location from where you're actually going to attack from. And now that the tank's down, as you can see the grenades, it's slow going, guys. I understand some people might say in comments that this is, you know, it's taken a bit long to do this. I don't really think so. It's like 16 minutes. I think you get 25 minutes to score points. Uh, but it's 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 just because of how many heavy ads are here. Now, I have Tenderizer on, so whenever I stagger a, uh, an Unstoppable, I get a damage increase. And that is slightly annoying that that Unstoppable just hid a little bit too much for my liking. Those Unstoppables won't start coming at me until I get closer up. So just get that unstoppable. We'll take this unstoppable now. And the other two are going to want some. So I'm just going to try and stop one. But I managed to stop both of them. Toss a grenade on. Keep putting the damage on. Now when you stop, as most people know, when you stop an unstoppable, uh, he, takes, he takes a damage increase as well. Now I didn't have any rockets. Normally it's quite easy to... To put down these unstoppables. The Cabal Unstoppables, as I've already said, are probably the easiest to deal with in the game. Because they're quite lumbering. Now you can see, I'm just going to dodge out the way here and then finish him because he's got the finisher icon. And that's... It's all about how you attack this area. So if, if, if with the Barrier Champions, you want to manoeuvre them so they're as far away from your attack point as you can possibly get them to make... Just in case anything goes wrong... You've got plenty of time to readjust. If you only manage to take one, then reset the lo reset their uh, locations. Move so that they move with you and follow you, but move move on the ground and then reinitiate your attack. We're gonna have a heap of dogs here, so we've got a grenade because we want to get some rockets and just put a bit of. Bit of extra damage on, help the grenade, and there you go. That is this area done, and we're out of this area. 18 minutes, 110,000. Now, in this area, you're going to deal with one unstoppable when you go in, and two barriers. Now, again, like these barriers, the barrier champions will be standing quite close together, and these are the last three three champions in the strike. The boss is a piece of cake. The way you deal with the boss is quite easy. So at, going into this room, what I would say to you is try and conserve rockets. Because we are going to kind of half utilize an old strategy from the way we used to do the arms dealer before there were champions. So when you go in here, you're going to have, I always jump up, I always do and try and take the ads that are up on this first level. Now I'm going to have a little look to see what's going on down here. Yep, they're here. I always, I always jump up there and take one of the ads straight away. But because we've got solar damage, I want to take these. I want to take these turrets out because they could make life a little bit interesting with the barrier champion, uh, with the unstoppable. So we're going to stop him, which we did, and just hit him. 
and then finish him, and that's him. There's one more shielded elite underneath that bridgeway. It's, he's on the right-hand side, but I'm just trying to clear the top section. Normally, I would go up top and clear that because it's a little bit, you know, can be a little bit simpler, but because the boss was still there, I decided not to do that because you just want to minimise anything that can happen. And there is one of the barriers, and as you can see, he, he really shouldn't have been there. The two barrier champions are down here. You've got, so we're going to take these turrets first, and we kind of want to leave the barrier champions, so that's all we've got to deal with is the barriers. And as you can see there, I didn't want to say anything before it happened, one ad can randomly spawn, you have to be careful, because there'll be no warning, he'll just be there. And it happens, that isn't, that isn't an anomaly, that actually is a thing, it happens quite often. So we've got a heap of different ads here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw a grenade and try and take some of the regular ads. And now we've put a rocket on the one, the one barrier. And then we're going to Nova. And we'll hopefully he's he's put his barrier back up, but he's got nothing left. So we'll switch to a primary. And there you go. That so. So I kind of done that differently the way I've been telling you guys to do it. Simply because, and this is the thing about strategy, right? The thing about strategy is strategy doesn't take into consideration that there will be opportune moments to do stuff. The two, the two barrier champions, they moved far enough away from each other that I felt confident I could attack one of them. Now, as you can see, because I had the higher ground, I employed a different strategy on that barrier champion. You do want to split them up. The grenade does help split them up. Uh, but what, what you kind of want to do is, if you can put a grenade, I, I, I haven't really been employing the grenade thing, but I know it is a thing. I know it works. We'll just take this last guy out. If you if you put a grenade down, it will it can damage and it can stop one of the enemies from moving so much. And then after you've done that, uh, one enemy, one of those barrier champions will have took considerable damage. But if it can stop him and make him put up his shield, the other one will keep coming at you. And that that's that's where it gets a little bit, you know, you can separate them quite easily then. But what I've found, nearly all the time, if I move and I attack from a range, what I've found that happens is... One of them will come at me, walking at me pretty quickly. Uh, and the other one will kind of lag behind. So just by just by being ranged, uh, you, you can you can you can create a situation where you can separate the two uh, two barrier champions. And that's what you want to do. You want to separate the barriers. You don't want to have to fight them both together. So this is the thing. Now I had to I've anybody that's watched my runs before or know I never have any problems climbing this this chain but what i found was for some reason i don't know if bungie's done something with it it's it was so much harder to jump up and grab the chain i kept i jumped up i don't know if you noticed uh, uh, just a little bit ago i jumped up and when i went to jump my character got kind of thrown to the side he wouldn't grab the chain again and i ended up dropping all the way down and actually underneath the platform which is no problem, you just face the chain again and jump up the front of the chain. It's no problem. So, what we're going to do is we're going to activate, activate the lift. We're going to put a grenade down on the drop pod that comes down. And then when we jump back on here, the boss is going to be standing up top waiting for us. So we'll just get see if there's any more ammunition. And there he is. He's going to fire at us now the whole way up. But what it means, what we can do is we can fire back. And we've got this whole train, this whole lift journey. Now, some of the rockets done, as you can see, that was a good rocket. Now, I think that one, I hit the bottom of the platform, didn't really get a lot of damage on him. But you'll see some of them you, you can do... Upwards of 50,000 damage. 
And another great thing there, I hope that I hope you caught how kind of strange that was. I threw my grenade and it went through his legs. Well, I mean that says something about Bungie's kind of uh, the way they build their characters that you can actually do that. Now you want to take this boss's first health bar out off him, right? And that puts him into his uh, cocoon state. And you see, there we go. When the ads come out, which they will, and this is the first wave. So when we come up here, we had the boss. That's the first wave. You've got this ship. We've got to deal with this ship. We're just going to take him out with the Arianas. But we're going to move down to this bottom, this bottom area, right? You dropped heavy there, which is always good. This is a great place to fight the ads from on both waves. So there's your shield, your shielded guy. As you can see, no problem taking him out. But this is a great place to deal with ads. Now when the dogs come, because we're not using, I'm not going to be using a uh, LMG, like I normally, I like to use the 21% delirium. I just felt that this wasn't a strike for it. Now you can, I think it's a, it's a very good LMG. It's a very good weapon all round. You know, I've used it in multiple round, runs. But I felt this one just, it wasn't a great one for this. I didn't think you needed it. I felt it actually held held me back because the rocket launcher actually allowed me to do a lot of, a lot of kind of focus damage. And you'll see at the end how quickly we kind of dismissed the boss because of the rocket launcher. So the boss is up there. You can throw a grenade up there. I actually have got a run on this where I literally on the prestige the year, destiny 2 year 1 prestige where i just beat him from throwing grenades up there got him in his cocoon state and finished him in there because area of effect grenades deal damage to him inside there but i've decided to keep a hold of that so what we're going to do is when you pick that orb up you're going to get a wave of ads come in i say a wave it's like six so we've took we've took the roman ads out so there's three that kind of push you and then there's going to be three over over by where we need to slam one of them will be a solar shielded one which the arianas takes out takes them all out pretty easily if you can hit the ads that is so we're going to slam and what's going to happen is he's going to come down when we slam right but the other thing that's going to happen is he's going to come down so we're kind of waiting for him to come down we're gonna charge. We're gonna charge a grenade. Put the grenade on him, and then hit him with a rocket and a nova, and then we're out. Because now we're gonna get absolutely overrun with dogs. Now I think I've done enough damage. We're gonna put one more rocket on him. There we go. Two more rockets. We've done enough damage to put him into hit another cocoon state. So he'll go up to the next platform. And he'll put, if you don't put him into the cocoon state, let me explain that. If you don't put him into the cocoon state, he will go up there and he will snipe. We'll put a grenade on these ads. Now, if you, the reason why this is a great place where I'm now is the ads won't push up to you. Because you're, you're believe it or not, you're kind of almost out of the map. Now, that was quite a surprise. I didn't realize that could happen. The rocket doesn't track doesn't track that ship so now we're just gonna have to finish it off with primary and we're good where we are because the ads won't push us up here so we'll just every time you come out though to deal damage just know that you're gonna get dogs and there are a lot of them and if the dogs get too much put a grenade and just back away the, the dogs will stop coming and you can you can control this area from this corner very easily. As you can see, there's no sweat here. There's no, you know, when whenever I want to engage in the ads, I push forward so that if it gets too hectic, I have a safe zone behind me, you know. And what I mean by a safe zone behind me is if they're throwing grenades, I've got room to back away from the grenades. You're also, as you can see, you're getting tons of ammo. You're never going to be in any hassle in this corner, really. If you can take down the ship, and if that, the, the, I believe there's another solar shielded uh, cabal with like the heavy solar thing. If he does push you, which I don't think he does just yet, 
If he does, Ariana too short. You know, you, you should never be in any hassle here. There he is. Ariana too short. And that, that's the only ad that can really cause you any real grief in this corner until the boss comes. And the other thing we're trying to do, which I think stands to reason, is just the area, if you've got special ammo about, the Ariana really sorts out the ads quite quickly, you know, and we do have special. So what we're actually trying to do, I've tried to get a couple of kills just, just to uh, get some uh, orbs because we need a super. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not really a priority, but I've, all my weapons are masterworked, so uh, the pyroclastic isn't masterworked, but my Arianas is masterworked, and my patron's masterworked. Now, he's up there, as you can see, he's, he hasn't got a lot of health, not, not, not greatly, but we, again, we've never put ourselves in trouble to do the damage that we've done. We're still rocking 145,000, so, you know, do the math, 15 points a second, how long could you be here? You know, so just looking about for ammo, we want to make sure we've got some heavy, and we're gonna to have to go and get the second and last of the orbs. And the same thing's gonna happen. We'll pick these orb, this orb up. We'll make our way back up to the platform because we're gonna get a couple of Roman ads, which one of them is one of them is that solar guy that the Ariana has no problem with. Now, if you lose the orb, for whatever reason, then it's it's no real problem. If you lose the orb, the orb will just go back to its original location, and you can go and pick it up. Now, we've seen we had, we've got some ammo around here, which is cool. We want to pick up all the ammo, so we'll take out these ads from here. When we slam, now, it, it's not... It's not like it doesn't matter what you do. You're just gonna, you know, be able to kill these uh, this boss. The boss can be an annoying because he's now a mobile boss. He will come after you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lure him down to our favorite place. And the reason why we're gonna go down to our favorite place is because to go with the boss here, we've also got snipers. And if we're jumping about to avoid the boss. The snipers can very easily put a lot of damage. One hit us actually, because you take more solar, more solar damage when airborne. So I just want to put one more on him, and then the maneuver you, that is tracking. Now, when he comes face to face with you here, it can get tricky. So if you jump up to this platform, we've laid him over to this corner, right? Jump up to the platform, duck down. He won't jump up there. He'll come up the ramp. He's got manners. He was taught to use the front door. So he will come up, up the stairs. When he comes up that ramp, you're going to use this as your kind of point. Now, what happened here is he went to jump, and I hit him with a rocket, and the cluster pushed him off. When he came down, I was already reloading. I hit him with the second rocket. That killed him. Really easy. That bottom, that bottom right hand behind us, the bottom right hand corner is very, very a very good place to to manipulate the ads and the boss. And if you just remember, when the boss pushes round, jump back up onto the platform and duck down. He shouldn't be able to hit you, and he'll come back up the ramp, and you just drop off the side. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video.